Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about inferred globals and scope in JavaScript. Before we start with this video, I'll request you to go and watch let versus where if you have not seen this already because the concepts being mentioned in that video we are going to refer to those in this video okay so what is the scope scope determines the visibility of a variable we have seen that in case of let and war that war respect the scope only inside the function means if you declare a variable inside a function using the where keyword it is not accessible outside that function scope in that case it is a local variable we also check that if we are working inside the if for and while blocks if you want to restrict the scope of those variables being declared inside those construct you have to go for let okay so then what is global variable a variable that is accessible to your components throughout your program okay that's why it's global now how can we create global variables we saw that one is using where the other way is just assign a value to a variable that has not been declared the third way is you can assign a property to the windows object which is a global object so this is how you can create global variables okay so now then what is inferred global so infer means deduce or conclude from evidence and reasoning rather than from explicit statements okay so it's implied all right now let's move on to the console and understand how does this work okay so now what are we going to do let's say let a is equal to we say 20 and i'm going to create a function right and we say add and i'm going to let's say console dot log and if i say a plus 20 and let me make it changes to war okay so if I declare a variable on top of this function and use this variable inside the function right let's see what is going to happen if I call the add function okay so it returns me 40 20 plus 20 so what happened here inside the function there is no variable with the symbol name a so it first checked for symbol a inside this scope it didn't find that so it moved up to the global scope and there it found this variable and it used that okay so you could see that how a variable declared outside a function is accessible to the function to the inside of the function okay now let's do one more thing and this time let us declare this variable inside a function and we say a is equal to 30 and let's execute that now the value is 50 so what has happened here so again as it has to first look into its own scope and it finds the value for a in its own scope so it did not move up and it added 30 with 20 
so any time inside a function if you are looking for a variable first it's going to check it inside its scope if it finds it great if not it will look inside the upper scope and it will keep on going up until it finds the global scope okay so that's about scope and infer globals so if you understand this right you have to be very careful about which variable you want to make global okay as you could have seen in this example this variable since it was global so this function was able to get hold of it okay right that's about javascript scope and inferred global thank you so much bye bye